right, all right. Yes, thank you very much for staying with us and for joining us once again on this channel. Yes, thank you. And um, we're about to talk about Thomas Partey and his frequent injuries. Now, Thomas Partey has been getting injured frequently recently, okay? Frequently recently. So, that is the, the, the thing about Thomas Partey. And a lot of Ghanaians have been saying that, look, we have to get a backup for Thomas Partey. It looks like if he, he's injured, we don't get anyone to partner Baba Idrisu in the heart of the midfield in the senior national team, the Blasters. And so, in this particular video, I'm going to bring you some four players of uh, who are Ghanaians who can play um, the Thomas Pate position in the absence of Thomas Pate if he's injured or if he's not available for a Blasters game. So four Ghanaian players abroad, yes, of course, who are quality, doing very well. You are going to show them to you in this particular video. Please do all to subscribe to the channel for lots more fantastic Blasters updates like this. Hit the notification bell and select all. Like this video and do all to leave a comment below if you have any. Let me hear your thoughts, views about this particular video in the comment section. I will be very glad to hear from you in the comment section over there. Now, Thomas Pate has been getting injured. Like, he gets injured a lot of time with his team house now when it comes to the blasters even with this september friendlies that we we, we blasters were playing with brazil and then nicaragua just before the brazil game when thomas party was warming up he says he's injured and now he's out of the blasters um, um campaign and he's going to arsenal to treat himself now we are looking at the players who can replace him let's look at the first player who can replace thomas party in the position he plays now before we look like we look at that transfer market says that thomas Pate's main position is a defensive midfielder okay but he can also play as a central midfielder all right yes so that is the position he plays with the senior national team the blasters as a central midfielder baba idrisu operates as the main defensive midfielder so all the players we are going to show you will be players who have um traits of a central midfielder or a defensive midfielder okay yes so that is the evidence of thomas party playing as a, as a central midfielder and as a defensive midfielder now the first player we will look at is alfred duncan alfred duncan of fiorentina i'm sure that the first question everyone watching me would ask is that look but alfred duncan um has retired from the blasters yes people retire you can talk to them they come back alfred duncan retired because he thinks that he's not being treated well he's doing very well for fiorentina but then he doesn't get a chance to play for the blasters so you can go and talk to him and he will rescind his decision he is a key member of the fiorentina team okay and according to transfer market which of course they examine players well and all of that he says that his main position is a central midfield or a central midfielder but he can also play as a defensive midfielder just like thomas Partey. so alfred duncan is a great or a direct replica of thomas Partey. yes thomas Partey's main position is a defensive midfielder but he can also play as a central midfielder all right yes and alfred duncan also plays this two two positions we are talking about and he helped florentina last season to qualify for the europa league as i speak to you now Fiorentina is playing in the Europa League. They are doing very well in Italy. And if you look at the number of years Alfred Duncan has played, top flight football in Italy, um, 29 years old, doing very well for, 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 for Fiorentina and other clubs in Italy. Look, I think that we can we can add him to the Blaster squad to substitute Thomas Partey anytime Thomas Partey is injured. If Thomas Partey is fine, of course, he's the best bet for his position. But now he's getting injured, we have to get other players who can play who can play that position. Now, Jeffrey Schlopp is a versatile Ghanaian player who can also play the position of Thomas Partey. Yes, of course, Jeffrey Schlopp can play as a left back or a left winger okay but he's also he can also play as a central midfielder or play ahead of the, of the so he's a versatile player who can fill the shoes of thomas party in case thomas party gets injured and it's not available for the black stars especially going into the world cup 2022 world cup 2022 is a tournament that the black stars cannot joke with we have to go in with our full arsenal and we have to get somebody like jeffrey schlop who is as it stands not willing to play for the blaster you can talk to him also and he will rescind his decision he will come join the squad and give us 
quality games or quality um, um, results day in day out over there when you are talking about um, the midfield position of the blasters now another player is Majid Ashimeru Majid Ashimeru is also a player who can fill the shoes of Thomas Partey? Anytime Thomas Partey is injured, he plays for um, Belgium side. He is a central midfielder by trade. Central midfielder by trade. Now, let's look at this. His his games played this particular season. In the, of course, Jupila Pro League in Belgium, he's played five games and scored two goals as a central midfielder. He's had one assist for Andalet. So it tells you that indeed. Uh, Majid Ashimero is a player who also gives returns, playing as a central midfielder. Yes, Thomas Partey gives great returns, but we are looking at somebody who is a great replica of Thomas Partey who can fill in his shoes. So, uh, Majid Ashimero can fill in the shoes of Thomas Partey. He is doing very well in Belgium. I don't know why it looks like the technical team of the Blasters don't give a lot of credence for the Belgium league because um, Joseph Pinto is doing very well in Belgium and he's not being caught. Ashimero is also doing very well in Belgium and he's not being caught. At the point we are, we need players who are playing very well and doing very well for their clubs. And Majid Ashimero is doing very well and now he can get a position in the Black Stars because Thomas Partey is not reliable. Thomas Partey is not a reliable midfielder. He knows, we know, you know, everybody know. So that is the point about Majid Ashimero. His main position is the central midfielder. I've already talked to you about that. He can also play other positions like attacking midfield and right midfield. So if you bring Majid Ashimero on board, you are bringing a player who is absolutely versatile especially in the midfield shape he's absolutely versatile and that will help um the black stars going forward even if he's not going to get a position of the central midfield or even if thomas Partey is 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 is, is, um, is fit to play he can play other positions of the attacking midfield and the right midfield over there as i speak to you so these are players that we can bring on board to fill the thomas Partey shoe now that last player the fourth player and very key player, if you tell me, he's on top form, is Abdul Salis Samet. Salis Abdul Samet. Yes, a Ghanaian international, formerly of Clement Ford, now with Lens in the French League. Look, Lens is in top form, and this player has played every game for Lens. He has played every top game not every top every game for length he is a key member of the lens side lens has not lost any game in the Fran french league this particular season they are on form and this player salis is part of them he's had eight appearances scoring one goal his main position is the defensive midfielder so if you get salis to join the blasters team he's not only going to give a uh, competition to thomas party he's also going to give a stiff competition to baba idrisu because this one is an out and out defensive midfielder out and out he's played eight games he's had just one yellow card so it tells you with his disciplinary records he is also very good in terms of discipline as a defensive midfielder now transfer market says that his starting 11 is 100 percent so he starts every game that is the point i'm making to you we need players who are playing day in day out whose return are absolutely good matches 100 percent goal um, participant participation is just six percent of course as a defensive midfielder out and out defensive midfielder you don't expect him to also um score a lot of goals now his main position is the defensive midfielder but the other position is central midfield and the point is that every defensive midfielder can also play as a central midfield the central midfield is just like um, um the deputy of defensive midfielder you defend you also attack or transit forward and that is the trait of every defensive midfielder so solid Ahmed, yes, this player is a very key player to me because he's doing very well in the French League, top five leagues in Europe. He's doing very, very well. And from Clement Ford up um, to Lens, he is doing very well and can replace Thomas Partey in terms of 
um playing very well and having to play just like thomas party at the senior national team the blaster so these are the four players we um, brought to you about thomas party uh, replacing thomas party in the blasters let me hear your thoughts and views on these players your thoughts and views on thomas party and his frequent injuries we've been having and everything